From the 1960s to about 1990, the Supreme Court handed down a bunch of decisions uh, that set forth the substantive rules of libel law. We know this, for example, this famous uh, actual malice test for lawsuits brought by public figures. But since then, the Supreme Court has largely avoided libel law. And what's happening is that lower courts are now, first of all, trying to apply those decisions, but second, dealing with procedural questions. Things like, can you get injunctions in libel cases? Things like uh, uh, how you deal with criminal libel prosecutions. Uh, uh, and also questions like, who does count as a public figure? We know if there's a different rule for public figures than for private figures, how do you draw that line? Uh, and it turns out that there are a lot of really important and interesting issues that the Supreme Court just has not been dealing with and that most people don't really know are even out there. The traditional law of libel uh, is primarily about damages, about defendants, usually large media organizations, having to pay for having wrongly injured somebody's reputation. Uh, uh, so it's about civil liability, not criminal punishment, not injunctions, civil damages liability. Well, that makes sense when there are lawsuits against media outlets that either have money or have insurance policies. What happens when the internet allows people who don't have any assets to say things that are posted online on sites uh, that are then very easily accessible to the public? When somebody searches for the plaintiff's name on Google, they see these posts, they're potentially defamatory, but the, the plaintiff sues the defendant for damages, there's nothing to be had. The defendant doesn't have any money. The defendant often is anonymous. It's very hard to track down. The defendant might be outside the jurisdiction. What do you do then? And it turns out that courts, prosecutors, are coming up with new approaches. Sometimes it's criminal libel prosecution. We thought that was long in the past. No, it turns out it happens. Probably about 20 criminal libel prosecutions a year in the country. And there are injunctions are actually now commonplace against libel. And then there's this public-private enforcement partnership where people go to court to get injunctions, not to get them enforced in court, but to get Google to de-index uh, uh, materials from the internet in response to those injunctions. Uh, and each of those uh, kinds of remedies actually has its own pluses, but also has potential minuses. 